Hey folks, Würfel here. Today we're gonna take a look at this special yellow board that I have here. Because this is a problem solver for a very specific issue that I stumbled across. A few years ago, a friend asked for a one shot, but he has just a small apartment and a little table there. And he said, maybe it's good if you bring something where you can hold your character sheet on while sitting in the chair because we might need the space on the table for other things. And I said, sure, no problem. And I made the first prototype of this. This here is already the third generation now. And the idea is you have basically a writing surface. So you can simply put on your character sheet, your pencil, sharpener, your eraser, some crazy folks bring their own dice to the game night, dice tower, all that stuff. But there's one big issue. So far that stuff lays here and with the table underneath that's fine. But without the table, if you hold it in your hands or if you have to wiggle it on your knees or something like that, yeah, not working very well. So how do we solve that problem? We make this uh, magnetic clipboard. So there's a metal sheet underneath so you can put on your character sheet, grab yourself some magnets and hold it in place. Okay, what about all that little stuff there? No problem. A pencil holder, a tray for your dice, another tray for other small bits. And the nice thing is you can arrange everything the way you like. The dice tower, yeah, no problem. There's a double tray. You can put in your dice tower and now you have a rolling surface. Also works, of course, without the tower. Now you think, okay, I got some of your stuff already. What about the other things? No problem. If you have the Helix dice tower, I got you covered with a tray for that as well, so you can put it on. And the nice thing is, now everything is secured regardless of its angle. And you only need to hold it more or less horizontally when you roll some dice, but in between you can move it and you can arrange everything on this tray as you like. So. For example, you're not like me right-handed, you're left-handed, no problem. You just move your papers over to the other side and put all the stuff that you want on the other side. You like it in another orientation, sure, no problem. You can make all this happen in a different orientation. Make this here and there. And move it over there and now you have the whole thing upright you can do however you like you're super flexible and i think there are a few more options what you can put on here i just started with the basics so some containers to sort small items some magnet things i mean you can use your simple fridge magnets whatever you have laying around a tray to hold some pencils um some of you might remember the tiny dice tower that I made for Numenera that comes with an included tray. This little tray here at the bottom is held in place with some magnets. So they already have the magnets in, so you can put it on here and et voila, it holds on its own. So this is definitely compatible with that. And I also started to work on some more fancy looking things. For example, my new dice tower that I work on, this is a print in some nice copper filament. I made a matching trait and I also included some wood in here. This is a two millimeter oak sheet that I laser cut and engraved. And now you have some really nice stuff on here. But you know, there's even more that this thing can do. And I think what this thing can do is to save the Wormwood Kickstarter. 
Yeah, we all saw the Wimbledon Kickstarter about the new gaming table. We all saw the Lilliput and we all think, what the hell is this thing doing? I can imagine the only game that you play at the Lilliput is crack your spine. But I guess with something like that, it makes it a really, really, really nice piece of furniture because you have a great table to put on all the things that you need for the game for everyone. And with this, you can lean back at the couch, listen to your DM, don't worry about all the stuff that you have flying around all over the place. Everything is nice and sorted. And I would love to see something like these little trays in a nice wood made by Wormwood. So if you know someone at Wormwood or Wormwood, if you're seeing this, I would love to work with you on that. For anyone else, and maybe just simply that they don't get in contact with me, all the files for these will be available for download free on Thingiverse. They are linked down below. Um, I'm also open for all kinds of suggestions what is missing. So far, I have a double tray. I have a single tray. I have a tray for pencil. So these are the basics. I will also upload these little dice pillar things here to include some magnets in so you can have a nice starting setup but I guess there's more stuff that you can use and uh, upgrade with some magnets so please leave some comments down below what you would like to see for this and if you want to build the board that's fairly easy you just need some spray adhesive or some similar glue that works for large surfaces I have a thin piece of leather here and underneath, I guess it's hardly to see here. You see that, I think over here you can see it a little bit. There's a bright line, that's the metal sheet. And then I put under that some slightly expanded PVC. I guess with a nice wooden board and some chamfers on the underside so it's easier to grab from the table. This would be would be a really really nice piece. Uh, I will do the the wood version next. I also think having some veneer at the top instead of the lever could also be very nice. Um, with the right paints, you could also just simply paint the metal sheets, or you can put on some fabric, whatever you personally like to have here as a writing surface. You just need to check if the magnets are still strong enough to grab to it. So I wouldn't make it too thick. I wouldn't go with anything that's above two millimeters. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked the idea. Uh, I wish you a lot of fun building your own versions of this. Also, you can make it as wide, as big as you like, or as small as you like, whatever you like to put on that. Uh, I also use it uh, on the regular gaming table because it's super convenient to have all your stuff stick together as one piece. I already saw that with my bigger dice trays with the tower in the middle and all the dice and stuff around. I included the holder for the pencil so you can have nearly everything in that piece and can move it as one. And I think with something like this, it's fairly easy to have all your stuff together at reach and when the pizza comes in or if you want to build up the dungeon or whatever is happening on the table, you can just move it aside without the fear of forgetting something. Also, if your DM gives you some notes or uh, item cards or all that stuff, you can use the trays, the magnets, whatever you like to pin it down so you won't lose anything and you can organize everything the way you like so yeah i wish you a lot of fun building your own versions i would love to see them so please tag me in the socials if you make your own version and print some of these parts and for wormwood i await your call so thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next project. Until that, happy dice making, happy printing and a lot of fun playing with my equipment. Bye.